Hey everyone, Miss Go Electric here, and today is Sunday, November 17th, 2024. This is The Current, weekly EV news in about 10 minutes. Rivian and Volkswagen have finalized the 50-50 joint venture we reported about back in June. The new company is called Rivian and VW Group Technology LLC, and it launched on November 13th. It is co-led by Rivian's chief software officer, Wasim Bensed, and Volkswagen's chief technical engineer, Karsten Helbing. Teams are initially based in Palo Alto, California, with plans for expanding to other sites in North America and Europe. Volkswagen has increased their maximum commitment by $800 million for a total possible investment of up to $5.8 billion by 2027. At closing of the joint venture this week, Volkswagen Group invested about $320 million on top of the previously conveyed $1 billion convertible note. VW says these investments also balance part of lower future costs identified during the technical feasibility tests and the sharing of costs for the inclusion of selected Volkswagen MEB models. The remaining investment of up to $3.5 billion is expected to come in the form of equity, a convertible note, and debt at future dates and based on clearly defined milestones. Further investments are tied to clear operational, technical, and financial milestones. The joint venture will operate as an independent company, but Volkswagen will be investing 75% of the shared platform development funds, where Rivian will contribute 25% through 2028. The companies expect 1,000 employees total to be hired for the JV. The joint venture revolves around development and implementation of Rivian's zonal electrical architecture and software technology stack, enabling the launch of Rivian's R2 in the first half of 2026. The same architecture will support the expected launch of the first models from the Volkswagen Group as early as 2027. As we predicted back in our deep dive video for Scout Motors on the Misco Electric Industry Channel, the group announced they will be utilizing the Rivian architecture and software stack. Rivian did stress that the graphical user interface is not part of the agreement and that each brand will customize the on-screen look and feel. Rivian isn't the only one making deals and selling their technology these days. Remot's technology, a leader in high-performance electric vehicle components, has entered into a strategic partnership with Seer, Saudi Arabia's first electric vehicle brand. Seer is a joint venture between Saudi Arabia's Public Investment Fund and Han Hai Precision Industry known as Foxconn. Really quickly, let me explain how Foxconn fits into this. Taiwan's Foxconn is most known for manufacturing the Apple iPhone and Microsoft Xbox. Subsidiaries include MIH, or Mobility in Harmony, and Foxtron, which is focused on contract manufacturing and development of their own EV platform. We have previously reported on Foxconn deals with several EV brands to utilize their own platform. They had relationships with Fisker, Monarch Electric Farm Tractors, and Indy EV. All of these companies have declared or are on the path to bankruptcy. More recently, Foxconn has partnered with Chinese-owned Karma Automotive. I've toured their operational but underutilized automotive manufacturing facility in Moreno Valley, California. Bypassing the red tape and building there could be a smart move for Foxconn. Foxconn also owns the shuttered former Lordstown factory in Ohio. They were majority owners of the EV truck maker before it went bankrupt in June of 2023. They had talked about building Fisker's Pear EV there, but with Fisker gone, it might make sense to manufacture the Foxtron Model C at one of those facilities. In October, at their annual Technology Day, Foxtron unveiled a North American variant of the Model C and said it would be coming to the U.S. by the end of 2025. All right, back to Sear in Remots. Remots Technology is a division of Remots Group, which also houses the Bugatti Remots division and their separate high-performance automobile brands. Remots has supplied their technology to Aston Martin, Pininfarina, Koenigsegg, and most recently made a deal with BMW. BMW is also a partner of Sear and is expected to provide vehicle components to the project as well. 
It's also worth noting that Saudi Arabia's public investment fund has also invested in Remat's autonomous electric vehicle rideshare service called Vern, which we detailed in episode 13. Remats will supply their high-performance electric drive systems to SEER. Foxconn is expected to supply the Foxtron platform. The first SEER vehicles are expected to be built and sold in Saudi Arabia starting in 2025. There sure is a lot of deal making happening in the automotive business right now. These types of partnerships are make or break for any company which hopes to survive the EV transition. We're looking at you, Nissan. Cadillac has revealed the details for their latest three row up to seven passenger luxury electric SUV, the Vistic. The Vistic will be produced in Spring Hill, Tennessee, alongside its smaller sibling, the Lyric, and will come with the same 102 kilowatt hour battery. It is expected to achieve up to 300 miles of range with a standard dual motor all wheel drive powertrain. To enable highway efficiency, Vistic uses a permanent magnet motor in the front and an induction motor in the rear. It can deliver up to 615 horsepower and 650 pound-feet of torque with a 0 to 60 mile per hour time in 3.7 seconds with its Velocity Max mode. The Vistic will also be able to tow up to 5,000 pounds and has a curb weight of 6,326 pounds. As far as charging goes, the Vistic will support a standard 11.5 kilowatt AC charging rate and optional 19.2 kilowatt rate with bi-directional capabilities. The CCS1 equipped port can accept up to 190 kilowatts peak of DC fast charging, but will have a NAX adapter available to access Tesla's supercharging network. The Vistic doesn't have a front trunk with storage. There is 15.2 cubic feet of storage behind the third row, including an underfloor compartment. Standard features include heated, ventilated, and massaging front seats, Super Cruise hands-free driving assistance subscription for three years, a 33-inch LED 9K screen with Google built-in infotainment and 5G hotspot, surround view 360-degree camera, a 23-speaker AKG Studio audio system with Dolby Atmos, and two wireless phone charging pads. Notable optional features include an air ride adaptive suspension, rear steering, augmented reality head-up display, and night vision infrared technology. The Vistic will start at $78,790 MSRP with availability scheduled for spring of 2025. Cadillac's Vistic looks like a competitive option in its class when you stack it up against other three-row electric luxury or premium SUVs that are available or coming to the market. Which of these options would you choose? Tesla has shared more details around their next generation supercharger cabinet, known as V4 in the US market. The V4 stalls have been deployed since 2023, and we've used a few of those already. Today, each of them is connected to a V3 cabinet, which enables charging speeds of up to about 250 kilowatts. The new V4 cabinets can deliver up to 500 kilowatts of DC fast charging speeds for passenger vehicles and 1.2 megawatts for the Tesla Semi. The announcement video confirms the Cybertruck can accept those speeds. The company says the V4 cabinet powers eight posts, which means they can deploy two times the amount of stalls per cabinet. This will enable the company to bring more sites online faster with its smaller footprint and lower complexity. Tesla charging lead Max DeZager has confirmed that the new cabinets are more efficient and more reliable as well. Permitting is in process and Tesla says we can expect to see V4 cabinets to begin service in 2025. This week, we published a first look at the latest light electric cargo solution from Civilized Cycles. I interviewed founder Zach Shefflin at the New Lab facility in Detroit to learn all about the innovative semi-trike, dive into the details with some beta examples, and rode one out on the streets around Michigan Central. The 20-minute feature is published on the Misco Electric Industry Channel, and I'll link it in the description below. Well, that wraps up this week's episode. If you found value in The Current, please consider sharing a link to this episode online. We need to reach a larger audience in order to continue producing this show every week. If you haven't already, I'd like to invite you to join me on other social media platforms, including X, LinkedIn, and Instagram for up to the minute insights and exclusive coverage. Thank you for watching and until next week, drive, 
fly, ride. Go electric.